What's good everybody, Vala here once again. Welcome back to the Messy Workbench. And if you've been in the hobby for any length of time, you know about Containment Crew. They are the makers of the Cyclone Wheels as well as a bunch of other accessories as well as selling a bunch of other accessories on their web store. They are a USA based company and I really like supporting them because they are stateside so I'm able to get things fairly quick. But this time they've released a new thing that's quite exciting kind of hard to see on the test beds drive I really need to add in the wheel window this time but what I have in this cage is a pair of what are known as the inferno wheels the inferno wheels are sort of the successor to the well-known cyclones which were debuted a year or two ago and they are really nice they've been working on these ever since the cyclones came out with so many revisions to the design I will have a picture of my prototype white pair here, but they also have recently fully released them in the full black Delrin version with a really nice fireball design. And they are mirrored on each wheel, so whenever they spin, they go the correct way. And I really like the way that looks. But their design is a very similar sort of thing to their Cyclones. The Cyclones are so big around as well, and the Infernos are about the same external diameter, but the Infernos actually have a concavity to them as well as three grooves down the middle of them. And that, whenever I talked to Thomas of Containment Crew, he said that that increases accuracy. And I am inclined to believe that because with this cage, even though it is a Morpheus, the shots I was getting out of this were laser sharp and laser straight. In the footage you're seeing right now, they're kind of veering off to the left or right, but that's because whenever I was doing my outdoor testing, the wind was really picking up. So a lot of the shots were veering left, but whenever I was testing indoors with no wind at all, the shots were just absolutely true. Especially with things like Adventure Force Waffles, which were my current favorite for flywheels. And the FPS is really good and consistent as well. In my current test that I am showing on the screen now, the FPS are a little bit in variance, but that's because I'm using really worn darts and as well as using a bunch of different types of darts, so FPS will vary some. But whenever I used just a single type of dart like an Adventure Force Waffle or an AccuFake, the FPS was pretty darn consistent, around that 145-ish range and sometimes getting up into the 150s. And I did have a fluke shot once of like 170, but that was just a fluke. But yeah, they are really nice. I like these things. I'm going to definitely use them in future builds because they are going to be quite cheap. I assume about the same price as Cyclones. Editing Valor just put the price down below or whatever, you know. So yeah. But I am very thankful for them sending over these wheels for me to check out because I like these a lot. And it's very good for me to be able to actually get the word out to people. Especially with things like End War coming up. These would be really good in a like a lower crush setup for HVZ because having the increased accuracy, like especially if you want to use it in one of their containment cages which are quite rigid, they are uh, very quiet because they are precisely machined by their machinist who I actually was talking to them about him, and he is very, very proud of his work. So he regularly checks his uh, measurements. But yeah, listen to this. Even for a printed cage with just this thing open. That was so, so quiet. But let me know what you think of these wheels. I will be sure to put a link down below to the containment crew, as well as my Patreon and all that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I've been thinking about for the test bed, I've been thinking about building a Foxfire MBS so I could more easily swap these things out and that way it can mark the cages and all that. But as ever, I'll have the links down below. My name is Valor. Thanks for watching.